Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And guys, as you can tell, the vibe's a little bit, um, a little different today. And that is because we are going to be diving headfirst, quite literally, into a full face of makeup that I hate. Now, this does, of course, stem from my normal video that I make for you guys where I go through and I talk about makeup I hate, why I don't like it, why it didn't work, so on and so forth. But out of all of those videos, let's be honest, your girl's kind of a hoarder, a little bit. And I have saved almost all of that makeup that I haven't liked over the last year or so. So I have went through taken makeup that I've already told you guys I don't like and why and paired it with some new makeup that I also don't like and I thought I would bring to you a full face of makeup that I hate. So obviously some of this makeup you will have already heard about and again some of it you will have not but I just thought it would be fun to sit down and talk to you guys and I don't know just like enjoy makeup that we don't like. Like just because we don't like it don't mean we can't laugh and I have a feeling we are in for a few laughs because there are some products in here that I straight ass forgot even existed and I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little nervous. All right I think that's a pretty decent zoom. I'm not going to be playing around with the camera a ton in this video so I just want to make sure I get it right honey and I think this looks so good plus how close do you really need to get to all of this also did I color coordinate my bright ass orange scrunchie with this bright freaking sweatshirt yes I did girl yes all right, guys, so let's go ahead and kick off this face with some primer, shall we? Now, of course, I have two primers that are completely, completely useless. And the one I have specifically for the forehead, yes, you heard me right, is this little guy from Revlon. This is the Revlon Youth FX Fill and Blur Primer for your forehead. And I'm going to tell you right now, completely useless. And look at how good she looks. Mm, nothing looks better and more goopy than this, huh? Mm-hmm. And we're just going to go ahead and brush that on because, yeah, that's a brush tip applicator. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be good for your wrinkles. So I thought we would just go ahead and throw that guy right on over the Hulk wrinkle. And then it says to let it dry and then apply the rest of your makeup. So let's just go ahead and rub that in there. And while we're waiting for that to dry down and get crunchy on our forehead, let's go ahead and go in with the rest of the face and this little fella. This is the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer. There she is on my hand. Oh, my God, does that stink. Okay. This one doesn't feel super weird. It just looks and has the same texture as glue. Unfortunately, it's about as useful as glue if you were to smear that all over your face. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. All right, now let's check on our forehead here. Oh yeah, nice and freaking slimy feeling. And all right, beautiful people, now it is time for foundation. And I couldn't think of a better foundation. I would rather smear all over my face and hate it, honey, than the Maybelline Urban Cover. Now this stuff right here, oh honey child, I think that this is one of the biggest disappointments to come out of the drugstore in a hot minute. I just absolutely loathe this foundation. I have it in the shade 120 and 110 and I know that a lot of people love this foundation but for me I literally had the worst time with it. This is 120. I'm just gonna rub it in with my hands here but for me I hated this foundation because a it settles into everything number one like every line every crack every crevasse it settles right down makes me round and I do not like it. Also didn't care for the application like right now it's applying okay with my hand but if you try to use a broad or a sponge at least for me it went on and looked so insanely patchy on my skin now obviously you can get past the application issue because obviously I'm applying it right now with my hands and it doesn't look too awful but it does also claim to be a full coverage foundation and it is just simply not a full coverage foundation like there was no aspect of this for me that was full coverage and then of course even if I could have gotten past all of that and made it all work the wear on this foundation on my skin was absolutely atrocious. It looked so bad. I mean, in less than two hours, I looked crazy. Also, I would just like to take this moment to interject before all the little fingers get going in the comments section. I will give away anything that I can from this video to friends and family and whatnot if it is still good or able to be used in that way. And if not, if it's not safe to use or whatever, then I will throw it away. But just so you guys know, I do give away everything that I can to people around me just to make sure that everything gets all the use that it can. All right, guys, so now it is time to start going in with some concealer on this sunburn tomato looking face and that is where this little guy comes in right here this is from makeup obsessions and this is actually the new brand that came to target i did a full video on this and this is the long wear concealer with caffeine in the shade zero two first of all this applicator is a horrible it looks like a giant bent club hockey stick situation but the concealer itself the color of it wasn't awful but it has no coverage and zero wearability like it doesn't last under the eyes at all and for whatever reason oh my god hello 
hello, can we just get some out of this applicator? Thank you. And it blends out okay, so it's not an application issue. It's just more so the actual concealer itself doesn't really do anything for me. So now it is time to go ahead and lock all this fabulousness into place. And for that, we have two different setting powders. I'm gonna start off with this one from Vici. This is what I call Flashback City, sweetheart. And the consistency of it as well as that are the reason I don't like it. It just creases and it makes me look very, very dry on my under eye. Now I did lose the lid for this one a long time ago. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of it here on the back of another item. Look at all that whiteness. Oh yeah, I can't wait to put that on my under eye. So good. And I don't know what it is about the texture of this powder either that doesn't work because if you feel it with your finger, it actually is a nice fine feel. Like it has a nice refinement to it. But for whatever reason, it just sits so heavy on my under eye. But to go ahead and powder the rest of the face, I'll be going in with this guy right here. This is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation. And this is in the shade 105 Light Neutral. And the powder itself feels chunky. And when you apply it to the skin, girl, she chunky. I swear to you, there's something about this powder that when I apply it to my face, instead of like pressing in like a normal powder, it like hits my face and turns to clumps of sand. It is so, so bizarre. But now just to go ahead and make it a little bit better, I'm going to apply that with this brush. Now this is the Wet n Wild little rose brush situation. And the brush itself actually isn't bad. It has a nice kind of fluffy, floofy factor to it. But it's this collar on the brush that I can't stand. This little rose thing right here drives me insane, number one. Number two, the stick stem thing on this, this is so uncomfortable to hold. Like, no matter how you try to do it, it just wants to flop all over the place. And that's just because whoever designed this brush never stopped to think about the weight that you would actually be holding. So when you're holding it, it's literally like 100% top heavy. And for me, it's just a very gimmicky brush and I just don't care for it. For bronzer, I have two different things. The first one is from Physicians Formula. This is their bronze booster. Now, this is something that I actually tried out in a video that you guys never saw because it was a full face of stuff from Physicians Formula that I have never tried. Guys, there is literally zero pigmentation to this. What you do end up getting after about 12 passes with this thing is so freaking patchy and so yellow undertone. And they say that this is a bronze booster. So I was like, okay, I looked all over the internet. I saw a place that said, hey, it's meant to emphasize the bronze you already have. So if you want to put it over top of that, it has a little sheen to it, yada, yada. Like I tried that whole approach and it's still super patchy and it's still not cute and I'm just like no thank you now you might wonder why I only did a little piece of my face right there and that's because I saved something extra special for the rest of it Charlotte Tilbury their Glowgasm palette right here we're gonna go into this bronzer this is in light to medium guys this bronzer it literally takes 75 dunks it has zero pigment it is so frustrating hello are you starting to see something now oh finally okay me off of camera for 25 hours trying to bronze my face. <gasps> I actually bought both of these palettes because there was a light medium and then a medium to deep. First of all, the medium to deep, absolutely not. Like it worked for my skin tone, number one. Number two, the pigmentation on these palettes, as you can tell, it is so, so sad. Oh my God, you guys, hold on. I gotta wipe off my lips. I almost missed another one of the items I can't stand. The Too Faced Peach Lip Balm, of course. Oh my God, you guys, can you see it on my lips? Like, no matter how much you apply, it's just so thick. It's like the thickest Vaseline ugh, you could ever put on your lips. No, no. Oh, my God. Ugh, it feels so thick. Oh, my God. Get away from me. I have literally never applied that and been able to leave it on for longer than, like, 12 seconds. It is so thick. Oh, my God. So now for blush, I'm going to go in and apply these two blushes right here, mainly because I don't have another blush in this collection. On a serious side, if you do have this palette and you wanted to know how to use these the right way or is there a better way to work with them, I think they're pretty if you want to use them as a blush topper. Given that I still have the palette, anytime I'm trying to get use out of it, that is something that I will use them for. Oh yes, queen, you are looking so good and your under eyes are looking so white. All right, moving on to brows. I'm going to be using this little guy right here. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil. And the reason I don't like this is because you pretty much have to scrape off a layer of your soul to get it to apply any pigment to your freaking eyebrows. So anytime that I would go in and use this just so it wouldn't go to waste, I always make sure to use it in very short little stroke motions. And in order to get any real depth of color, you have to press very hard. And then as you just saw, it snaps off. I don't mind if it snaps off every once in a while, but 
with this pencil, it literally snaps off every time you tilt it the wrong way, just because it's so hard. It's almost like very brittle in a way. I just more so think that for ease of use and creaminess and all of that, I think there are better options. I think the one from NYX is a lot better than this. The one from um, ColourPop is one of my all-time favorites. If I had to recommend one, that one's like $5. I would get that all day long. All right, now moving on to eyes, we are going to be playing around with this guy. This is the NYX Ultimate Edit Palette in Phoenix. And for me, the main issue that I had with this palette was pigmentation and patchiness. And I guess the best way to describe this is that as you get toward the deeper end of the colors, your pigmentation is so insanely patchy. Now I'm going to start off by priming my lids with a little bit of my ABH primer right here, just to be fair. And then I'm going to go in here with my Morphe M504 and I'm going to dive into this middle like rosy kind of tone. And I am going to put that all through the crease real quick like here. And then from there on the inner and outer V, I'm going to go in with that dark purple shade. And I'm just going to take those on a Morphe M433 and really stamp it through. Then I'm going to just blend it into that pink here. Oh my god, this purple will not blend. <sighs> okay, Paige, you knew this was going to happen. Why are you so frustrated? <laughs> I'm going to go in and blend it again with that 504 here. And I'm going to aggressively blend it till it blends out. Oh, I love it when it blends away all the purple and all you see is weird patchy pink. That's really cute. Don't get me wrong, okay, if you use just a little bit of the purple, I think it could be okay, but for me, the issue is that when you pick up a palette like this, again, there's only six shades in it, like, they all need to perform, and this one doesn't do it. Paige desperately still trying to blend the purple, even though it will not blend. Paige, just put it down. Put it down. Now, in the center of the eye, I'm just going to grab some of my Too Faced glitter glue. This I like. This I use all the time. I'm going to pop that all over the center of this super patchy purple eye. And then I'm going to go in with this orange right here. I am going to apply that color all over the lid. Just blend it outward with my finger into that purple. Wow, what an impactful orange. Not. Then I'm also just going to take some of that also equally unimpactful yellow and put that in the center as well and then kind of blend those two together. Shouldn't there be some sort of shimmery, glimmery cuteness on my eyelid at this point? Just anything, anything at all. Like, look at how dull that looks. Ugh. Also, I love that even the orange shimmer is patchy. That's really cute. But for the record, the eye look itself is kind of really pretty if you could do it with good shadows and not whatever, whatever that is. Um, but, you know, this is where we're at. It's fine. I'm not judging nobody. I'm not judging nothing. All right, now before I go in with highlight, you guys know the drill. I love to go in and just start pressing all them layers together. And uh, for that, we're going to use a setting spray. And today we're going to use this. Doesn't that sound fun? And guys, this spray, don't get me wrong, it has a decent mist to it. The problem is that it has so much glitter in it that it literally looks like a fairy just farted all over your face. Just like pfft, big old fairy dust fart right in your freaking eyeballs. And I'm not a big fan of that. Also, there's so much glitter in it that it has two ball bearings in it to mix it up. Like, that's a lot of glitter. Oh my word. Like, this hand is literally white with glitter compared to this hand. Wow. But let's go ahead and do that to our face, shall we? Ah, uh, yeah. Just what I always wanted. It looks like just my face went to Mardi Gras. <laughs> like, just my face. Woo! All right, guys, so now it is time for highlight, and this one I don't like for multiple reasons. This is the Betsy Johnson collection highlight here. The problem with this highlight, hold on, I'm trying to make it so you can see it. There is so much kick in this. Like, look at the pan. Like, do you see the obnoxiousness right there? Like, look at that. That is, that is so freaking, oh my God, that's awful. But anyways, the texture of this is horrible, first of all. Second of all, when you apply it to your face, it looks really blinding. Like, if you do a swatch of it, hello, look at that. Gorgeous, right? But when you apply this to your face, it emphasizes every piece of texture that you have had, will have, or in the future will ever think of having on your cheekbone. Like, it is just so thick and so chunky, and it's nothing that you can see right now because the camera is farther away, but there's something about this texture-wise that just does not work. This entire collection from Betsy Johnson was such a bust. It is the worst makeup. The quality is awful. Literally every single thing I tried, I absolutely hated. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and take one more fairy shark to the face, shall we? Did I just say that out loud? Yes, I did. Wow, like the level of shine that is on my face is a lot. Also, my powder that I used, uh, the one from CoverGirl, I forgot to mention, that makes your skin substantially darker, like over the course of about a half hour to an hour. So I'm also a lot darker than when I started. <laughs> Looking so good. And now, who was waiting for this? I have a second setting spray, and just take one guess what it is, the one that was almost unanimously hated by all of the internet, and that would be the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face. Guys, the smell of this... Oh, Lord child. That's all right. We're going to do it anyways. We're going to shake it up. We're going to hold our breath for as long as possible, and we're going to spray. Okay. <sighs> Kids, don't try this at home.
Oh yeah, no air. There's no air left in this room. Oh, I just caught a glimpse of myself in the monitor. I actually look like the Tin Man. <laughs> Okay, so now it is time for mascara. We're gonna move right along with this one. This is the Milani Dangerous Lengths Mascara. And let me tell you, the only thing dangerous about this is the freaking applicator. It looks like a jaggedly spiked baseball bat. It is terrifying. And on top of that, it does literally nothing for your lashes, no matter how many coats I apply. It just seems to do absolutely nothing. It doesn't lift them, doesn't lengthen them, doesn't give make them more voluminous. Honey, it don't do nothing. All right, guys, I just went ahead and applied four coats of this four coats one two three four and i do not understand how does it look like my lashes after four coats of mascara they somebody somewhere like a mile down the road sprayed black spray paint out of a spray can and from a mile away my lashes sauntered through it Who to do to do i do not understand how is that even possible i just Oh, there is no pigment to this. It doesn't stick to the lashes. It goes on with like the lightest, airiest coat of mascara I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. Ah, you're so annoying. All right, guys, now it is time to round everything out with lips. And I can't think of a better item that would better round out this entire face than the Lippy Clips in London Girl from Sigma. This I mean, doesn't this color just say it all? Let's just put it on. It's so good. Oh, yes, honey. Bright orange. Sign me up. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice and patchy. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're not smooth. That would be a waste. And all right, beautiful people, this is the finished look. What do you think? Am I just serving you all kinds of aluminum foil realness right now? Oh, I do think so. Girl, I'm killing it. Yes. But for real, you guys, that is the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun to watch. I hope that you maybe learned a little something about what I would personally avoid next time I was at the store or shopping with my little fingers online. And again, you guys, at the very end here, I do just want to point out this video was just for fun every brand puts out stuff that we don't like um, for one reason or another and just because a brand was in here or other brands weren't doesn't mean that they didn't put out stuff that I didn't also dislike um, this was just this was just the lucky pick of the draw but let me know down below do you guys like these kinds of videos again I know some of these uh, products you've already heard that I don't like and you've already had all that explained but I thought it would just be fun to put them on my face and to sit down and uh, just have a little good time so let me know your thoughts down below did you have fun did you enjoy this um, I will of course get back to other products that I don't like that you haven't heard of in a regular format at some point here in the future so stay tuned for that but other than that you guys i hope you really did enjoy this video i hope it was something fun for you to watch i hope that you laughed right along with me because p.s i can still smell the huda resting boss face it is so strong but if you do like me and you had a good time please don't forget you can subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here youtube channel i do upload five videos a week monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m my time here in northern michigan but you guys that is it thank you all so so much for watching please do not forget to have a great day night weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Hey, uh, Paige, no matter how much you zoom the camera out, you're still gonna look like a big old light bulb, so that's not gonna change! Get the powder off of there, ooh, 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 air. Let's roll these sleeves up here, can I get ready? <laughs> I could I could be a beacon, girl. I'm like Rudolph, but of people. I am the Rudolph of humans. I will guide you into the future with my aluminum foil face.